Hello and welcome back to City Skylines. A building has just leveled up. As I hit record, I was wondering whether that was going to happen, and it did. It's just stopping the rain. It was very relaxing. A little too relaxing, perhaps. I was going to fall asleep to it. But we can't do that. We've got a lot to do today. We still have a huge demand for residential. We could see our houses starting to uh, upgrade there. Where are they? Where, where were you? They should have scaffolding, do they? Yes, is that the one? There we go. Yeah, upgrade underway. That should give them another residence there. Now, before we get going, we've got a water issue, so we need to tidy that up. And uh, I... I did see the comments saying you should put them under the roads as uh, that would be more realistic. We would have to pay for that privilege because the way I've laid out this city, uh, every other street, I think it was, or every other block. So it would be something like there and there. I don't know how far that is. Oh, that might be almost perfect anyway. Yeah, we'd lose a little bit, wouldn't we? Uh, there'd be a lot of overlapping there. I definitely get it though. Yes, we might do fishing at some point. It's desperately trying to tell me to do all the things at once. But anyway, yes, I'm just trying to make as much money as possible. You do have to pay for these pipes. I know it doesn't seem much, but it soon adds up. 0 0.08. So eight mini monies. <laughs> That's not the name of that, is it? Eight Monies, mini monies, that, that'll do. I don't know, it'd be pence or something, wouldn't it? Cents or pence. Per week. Per cell. So yes, that would soon add up. I'm going to stick to as far away as possible. Also, I had another comment. Uh, based on putting these two close together, they would suck the air away from each other. Wind speed 9, output 7. I'm not sure whether that... There was two comments about that. And I, I was scratching my head. And I didn't remember that being a thing. And I'm just going to assume you're talking about uh, real life. That you wouldn't have them this close together. Which I agree, they're normally spaced out, aren't they? However, in the game... It doesn't affect them. From what I've seen. Because the wind speed's 9 there. We'll have to wait until the wind speed's on maximum. But if it was the case, they would get lower and lower, wouldn't they? As you went down. That one's the only one at 8. See, that one's at 7 as well. So yeah, I don't know. When it's at 10 mile an hour, I did check. Before recording. And... It seemed to be just fine. This isn't good, is it? So, you'll have to clarify, guys. Is that based on you would like to see it a little more realistic, where they're spaced out? Because we can do that. We could have them, like, along here, spaced out. That's not a problem. I definitely feel like having them up here. What is the wind speed for these? Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, up there is quite nice as well. So we'd definitely get it all up there. Where's the wind speed? That's a fish. Wind speed. Oh, is this the colour of them here? They're all saying strong, by the looks of things. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, on the the layer here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. They're all running pretty decent, although these could be over here anyway. Perhaps it might be time to put them over here, because we'll go to this layer. Uh, not that one. This one. And we've got a lot of fertile land here. It would be nice to have even a small farm out here by the coast. If we can manage it. And we could move these. You know what? Should we do it? Let's get them over there. We're going to have to pause it. Otherwise they're going to lose electricity. But we'll stick them along here and try and space them out, I guess. Alright. There we go. That should be far enough, shouldn't it? Like that. We just need to make sure we make the, the blue thing. 
What is what do we reckon? Just along So they're not touching the uh the next one. Yeah, just there. There we go. This should be fine to have well, actually, should we just put them all along the uh all along the edge here? That'll give us lots of connection points. I like it and it will kind of look cool in the distance. Which is just as important. There we go. What I'm doing there is when I'm moving them. When the circle, the noise pollution circle. I'm guessing that's what that is. Are they, are they noisy? What does it say? What's the noise pollution on these? Yeah, 75. Uh, so when it doesn't highlight the next one along is where I'm placing them. So just there. Does mean we're going to have to move these around a little bit but we can have this connecting slightly differently can't we and get it all off our fertile land in fact we could run it that way now it's going to cost us a bit to do that i don't think we're going to get a refund but uh that'd be all right we'll get rid of all these and we'll redo it and have it running that way instead away from our new farmland and We'll just run this straight along here. And that should be everything we need. Let's hit play again. It's going to complain a little bit. There we go. It's powering up the lines. And we're good. We're good. What I would like to do is get these in at some point. These are awesome. There we go. Are you getting electric? Yes, you are. Oh, I like that. Over in the distance. That sort of works, doesn't it? Perfect for our tiny town is that the one wait are we a boom town or is boom town 1800 i guess boom town's the next one isn't it because we are a tiny town yes so 1800 we become a boom town it's pleasant here isn't it at the moment should we see to our residential needs do we have we definitely have the power now until the wind drops of course that's the only issue about having only wind turbines, you've got to account for uh, a little bit of overlap when the weather's calm. You would think on this cliff edge it would be windy most of the time. Uh, water, we've got our budget. Currently have this down, so if we stick this up ready for expansion, and then we can check everybody's needs on what we're going to do. We're going to have to gain some money. We are making quite a bit. Another residential area is going to give us quite a bit of money though, isn't it? There we go. We'll just flood fill that with new residential area. Expansion, guys. And then we're creeping up to Boomtown. Another 15 people have moved in. Twitter. Oh, Twitter. It's not Twitter. Sherpa has been quite busy. I think it will rain soon. Yeah, that's obviously an old one isn't it taylor posted that maybe yesterday i love the new parks i think people are just saying the same old thing at the moment because there's no real issues we're gonna have to keep an eye out for it though see if there's any green energy yeah they're all loving that see if there's any real needs that they need that they need real needs that they need yes Mysterious cult leader predicts the end of the world again. Don't they? Our vacation was extended. Could someone water the plants while we are gone? Oh, this is uh, Cedric here is just boasting that our police department is awesome. Thank you, Cedric. I'm glad you uh, like us. Is there a remove all? I think that's the only thing about Chirper I don't really like. Uh, other than that, I like reading their little chirps. I'm guessing that's what they're called. Steady growth. Traffic isn't really a problem yet, but we're nowhere near big enough to worry about traffic. We're probably going to need some more park areas. How is the land value? Well, it's not too bad, really. Probably one over in this corner would do. Yeah. Yeah. We have one similar to this down here. That should cope. 
But yes, there we go. We've got 10,000 in the bank. I don't know how much it's going to cost. Should we figure it out? Setting up a, uh, a farm. Uh, we have to create an industry area, yes. But we can sort of figure out the costs. Yeah, we're a little bit away, aren't we? 15,000 just for the main farm building. What do we have here? These are things we can attach to the main farm building. I'll probably try and edit a bit out where there's just nothing happening just so we can gain some money and keep things moving. So a farm main building sets an unassigned industry areas type to farming and allows its level progression. Ooh, level progression. It also works as the industry areas HQ for city service vehicles. Brilliant. All right, so we're definitely going to need one of those. Then we're going to need whatever we decide to put in there. Crops. That's 4,000 on top of the uh, 15,000. And it's going to be uh, very pricey, isn't it? To get this up and running. I guess we can start small. And go from there. But it would be nice to utilize this area. Yeah, we are going to do that. Definitely. Did it see me looking at the... Uh, the the farming stuff and it's like yeah just create it with this it being the game of course oh we have a chirp anything good good morning everybody what a beautiful sunrise isn't it you can see the spinny whirlies over there in the distance i know that uh what's great about this is hey there's our green en energy if you can see it through the smog of the industry brilliant it's like, ignore this, just look at those. Yeah, it's not great. We've got a, a trash issue. So, although I wouldn't mind a couple of these. That will be the first thing we need to do. If we don't see to this now, there's going to be a few issues. Uh, people are going to start getting grumpy and move out. And then uh, we'll lose money. How much was our garbagey place? Too expensive. 16000 well, that puts a, a hold on our other stuff, doesn't it? Or maybe not. We're kind of level on our uh, our demand there from RCI, which is great because this sort of thing was always what I was aiming for in SimCity and Skylines as well. Whenever I play a city builder, if you can get it all level like this, it's beautiful. It means you've got this balanced perfectly. So we need to expand, I guess, at this ratio. Residential to commercial to industry is just like that. However, if we do expand, we need to because we need to make more money than we're currently doing. I guess I could stick it on fast forward for a while, see what happens. Then, uh, then we're going to need even more garbage removal. And that will be pricey. What have we got? New chirp. Optic camouflage available for consumers. Cloak of invisibility. Oh, Emma, could you hear me talking about this? Cloak of invisibility. I don't know what that means. That was a bit cryptic. What does she mean? Anybody know? Yes, we'll expand that. Although, could we adjust the budget or do we have that wanged straight up? We don't. Right, we might be able to do something with that. Put it the wrong way. If we take that to 125, will that do us? There we go. Let's try that. I think we're miles off the mark. Yeah, we're miles off. We'll see. We could always push it all the way up, to be fair. Uh, it would be nice to make the most from a single building, wouldn't it? Yeah. Garbage reserves. Well, it's not full, so that's good. We've definitely increased that. It's going to send out more vehicles as well. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, do you know what? Let's just bung it all the way up and see what happens. It's going to cost more, but not much more. Probably worth doing. In fact, it is worth doing. Any better? Of course it is. Processing rate up to 30,000 now. Which is right, isn't it? Is it 20,000 that it uh, goes through on 100%? Uh, let's have a look, let's have a look. 24,000, there we go. So yeah, that's doing alright now. 
That's going to keep going through that. We can have 19 garbage trucks. We can afford a second one. But it is seeing to their needs at the moment. It doesn't have to be in the green, really, does it? Uh, maybe. Yeah, well, yes, it does, ground because you want to expand, don't you? Now, they're going to get a little far away from the, uh, the commerce down here. Perhaps we could have like a little commerce strip down here as well. Try and split the traffic a little bit. The only problem we have then is deliveries. That's why I prefer to keep it all separated this way. Large residential area. We could have small shops. That wouldn't be a, too much of an issue. Like a single block. Uh, what's the noise pollution like? Where's the noise layer? That's the one, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite noisy though. That's the problem. All these people here. We needed a bit more of a green belt, didn't we? Yeah. There's just a lot of traffic. It's not too bad though. It's bearable. How, how happy are they? I guess you could counteract that with... Uh, parks couldn't you and cheer them up uh storage space yeah yeah what's wrong with our garbage collection there we go elisa eliza miller she's the first to complain about that i thought it might be an issue I, we've built up enough money now let's get another one in and then go for a bit of a an expansion boost we're going to go for another one of these if we put it just there i believe what we can do then Yes, is reduce this back down to 100%. And that should be more than enough. There we go. Stick that on 100%. How are we doing? Do we need to go higher? No, that's absolutely perfect. And uh, not only that, we now have two recycling centers processing the, uh, the garbage there. And hopefully they split it amongst themselves quite nicely. I know. I know I can buy new land, but it's it's expensive how much well actually it's not that expensive it does tell you what's in each square i completely forgot about that so what's in ours oh well ours is the farming area which is a little interesting because i was going to have this as downtown perhaps it won't be our downtown by the end maybe we'll have it over there yes we could get rid of the industry hopefully recover the polluted land. Well, there we go. There we go. We can adjust, can't we, as we see fit. Right, should we get a nice uh, bit of expansion going? We could just start by having an area down here. That rain. That was, uh, that was interesting. I say we go all the way down here. And we delete that back. Oh, that's uh, making me feel dizzy. There we go. Right, do we have anywhere to connect to? There we go, just here. That will do just fine. That will hook us back up to our water tower up there. People are moving in. We're definitely going to need uh, a little bit more commerce down here, so we'll extend our commerce strip again. Just keeping it simple. I'm going to go a little bit further in preparation for our farm's going to be, what was it, over here somewhere? I think that'll work anyway. And then it can connect onto this place. Uh, I don't want to connect that there. We're going to send this down. And then we'll send that across there and up. Beautiful. And then we'll get our... Uh, oh no, not flood fill. I'm going to keep it like that. Maybe we can put some trees down the side here. I think we're sloping down slightly towards here. Only slightly though. There we go, guys. Yep. People are moving in, though. Oh, water. Yes, yeah, so we need to extend this, don't we? All the way down to there. That should cover everything for a while. We're good here. Possibly more industry as well. That's a good money earner, isn't it? What are you looking for? Uh, not enough educated workers. Of course. One other thing we're missing is a a high school we don't have one yet we should definitely get new granton 
furnished with a high score. It's going to cost us a small fortune, isn't it? You, you won't find it there. Yeah, that's not the right thing. Books. How much is a high school? 24,000. Goodness me, that's, uh, that is pricey. We could probably go with uh, a bit more industry, though. I sort of like that idea. We could also have a, a quick exit from, from the industry area with a little slip road leading up there. That wouldn't be a bad idea, would it? Yeah, should we head that way? Uh, how, how am I going to do this? Let's go something like this for now. And we'll fill that area. Not with the residential. I would not want to live there. Although it would be debatable if you worked there, wouldn't it? Because you'd be pretty close to where you need to be. We could have uh, an extended commerce section down here. At the moment, it looks like they're really looking for industry, though. Above Boomtown! There we go. Timing. Beautiful. Reach population of 1,800 already. What have we got unlocked? Ooh, yes, ore industry. We'll have to take a look, see where that all is. Now we can make some uh, highway stuff, which is great because we might have a bit of a ramp or a, a slip road heading into the highway out of the industrial area. That could funnel some of our traffic up there. I don't know about using the industry roads yet. We've also got pre-built uh, intersections, including roundabouts, should we want one. Water pipe with heating. Are we in an area where we need to worry about heating? I'm not sure. There's my favourite wind turbine. One-way toll booths. These are new. Not seen those. Bus depots. Yes. Taxi. Oh, this is where we can start to get buses going. Cemetery. Uh-oh. That means the first deaths are on the uh, on the horizon. Geothermal heating plant. I don't know whether we need to worry about that. We'll have to keep an eye on the weather. We've got very... Oh, look at all this stuff. Fish factory. Small warehouses. A small warehouse for storing goods and products. Oh, guys, there's just so much new stuff. A post office. That's new. Offers mail-related services such as acceptance and delivery of letters and parcels. Each post office maintains a small fleet of post vans that collect and distribute mail. When did they add that? Hey, we've got all the, the fireworks going. How's Chirper doing? Good morning, everybody. Well, Walter, yep. Original. Wow, our town is quickly becoming a real city, isn't it just? Green light city limits. We are going to have to expand soon, aren't we? Yes, I know. We've got lots of new buildings. Oh, of course, we got a bit of a payday, didn't we? Yes. So we're definitely going to need educated workers. How big is this? It's an awkward size, if I remember correctly. We could plonk it, like, in the middle, really. In fact, we could have it at the back here. Uh, could we have it down here, though? Not there. I would rather not uh, take out any of our commerce there. Maybe we could have it down in this corner. No, then we don't get that. I mean, here would be ideal. I sort of like it. Does it generate any noise? No. You would think it would, but it doesn't. Let's go there. I like that. Yeah, we can't afford the creative arts. Uh, the alternative to the high school there. Oh, yes. Do you know, Grand, you wasn't thinking. Will I get a full refund for this? What is it? 24,000? No, it's been in too long. I should have hit pause. Because what we used here was the cheaper running community school. Let's take a look at uh, the running costs for the Institute of Creative Arts. 240 on the water 640 on the electric oh goodness me yeah but what's the uh, capacity 250 versus a 
thousand. You would need four of these. Oh no, that one's 800. What was I looking at? Community school. 800. You'd still need three. Uh, three times 240 is a lot. Yeah, no, no. You, even two, right? 1600. That is not worth it. You get more bang for your buck with a high school. That's a good point. Do you get more bang for your buck with an elementary school? I mean, yes, you've got to power it more. What's this? Oh, yes, a public library. 160, 250. It's only 50 off that one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's a better way to go. Community school over the elementary school. But the high school seems a, a good deal. Oh, there we go. I forgot about these cars. There we go, guys. Granton now has a high school. People seem to be happy about it. Other side of town. Yes, you're going to get your workers at some point. It's going to take time, though. The importance of schooling seems to have reached the local government. Learn for life. Learn for life, yes. Have you seen a tornado up front? I have. It's interesting. Good for you, Earl. Tornado, something we know a lot about in Texas. Fortunately, only had close calls. Look at this. I love this parking on the street. Something I miss in Transport Fever. I'm sort of happy with it. We've expanded. We are now a boom town. Since we put the high school in, residential demand has gone through the roof. Now we've got decent money in the bank, perhaps, before we do our farm. A bus service might be in order. And then we can extend our residential, keep going that way. I think when we cap this residential off down here, we make some sort of swirly curly bit. Technical terms, rather than all blocks, so it's like the edge of town. And we're going to have to do something to increase our commerce capacity. Perhaps down here, though, we can have sort of an offset strip, can't we? With some more down the side there. I do feel like some sort of parky area down here would be nice. Let's see if we can't see to their needs with uh, educated workers. Not enough educated workers. Where do we see that? Where's our educated worker map? What's that under? It'll be the book, right? There we go. High school. Uneducated, 66%. Educated, 32%. They're asking for well-educated, aren't they? Uh, not enough. No, just educated workers. Okay, which deal with well-educated? Highly educated? That would be highly educated, wouldn't it? Eligible, 32 people. High school, graduated, only 2%. Does this tell you? Uh, a small elementary school. I'm sure this is like the first step, isn't it? That's educated and that will be well educated. And then you've got university, which is high ed highly educated. I'm sounding like I need to go to one of these places. Either the elementary school. Start at the beginning. And make my way through my own town's uh, school system. Oh, we've got a water issue, guys. Big time. Yes, let's take a look at that. Although, oh dear, yeah, we are very low. I'd like to sort that out before we go. We could pump that up, I think. Excuse the expression. Although, how much is a, a water tower? Uh, they're only 3.5k. There we go. We'll put this down here. And then we'll just connect that up. There we go. Does that help? It should get the power. Ah, no it doesn't. Awkward. I should have put it closer. Now I'm not sure whether this would suck water away from that. 
<laughs> I don't know even if we have a water layer. If there is such a thing as drought. I can't see water anywhere on here. Oh, there we go. Water. No, it's just a water layer, isn't it? I think it should work. We just have to connect it up. I guess what we could do... Yeah, where's the bulldozer? We could get this going in the middle, surely. Somehow. And then just branch off. We could have it going like this and then across. We could have them closer as well, but I'll, I'll take that. It's not too bad. There we go. More water. We might be able to turn this down in the budget then, depending on what it's like. Yeah, child health care. We'll get around to that. We're absolutely through the roof now. Let's turn that down and we'll end it, guys, with a, a little tour of our town. Budget. Uh, we'll turn this down to 80%. We'll try that. See what figures we're looking at. How's that? 80%? Spot on. That'll do. Abandoned building. Yeah, we'll bulldoze those. These buildings were the ones looking for highly educated workers. Or educated, I can't remember. It's early days yet, though, isn't it? We're running out of... Yeah, we don't have enough workers. Guys, we've got some issues to address when we come back. We're just going to have to expand fast, aren't we? Faster than we are doing. Thank you for watching, guys. We'll go for our uh, our next milestone next time out. Lots of uh, growth, I think. We're just going to go full on residential growth. Is that police car going to pull the other police car over? Don't know what was going on there. Also, farm. We're going to get a farm industry going. Thanks again, guys. And until next time, take care.